Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome to this edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. 2011 was a big year for Earth observation, with the Cryosat satellite's delivery of its first data on Arctic sea ice thickness and cover, the deorbiting of ERS 2 completing 20 years of missions, and many other discoveries that continue to advance our knowledge about the planet that we live on. Now we're at the beginning of 2012. But with the new year come new challenges. With me in the studio today, I have the honor of speaking with Professor Volker Liebig, the Director of Earth Observation Programs here at the European Space Agency. Hello and welcome. Hello. I would just like to first off thank you for taking time out of your schedule to join us today. I, I understand that you and everybody in Earth Observation have a very busy year ahead. This is true. Uh, 2012 is one of the most busy years. We have this three, four year rhythm with ministerial conferences and this is one. So uh, it's very important to prepare all these meetings. Mm -hmm. And I understand there are also five satellites under three missions <coughs> being launched. Can you tell me about those? That is true. We have, beside uh, the extraordinary event, which is in November, the ministerial conference, we have our standard work. But also this work this year is not so standard as usual because we never, in Earth observation, we never launched five satellites in one year. So we have three launches for that. In May we uh, will launch Meto B, hopefully. In June, uh, Meteosat, the next one, second generation. And uh, in um, uh, July, finally, uh, Swarm, which is three satellites, in fact. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me a bit about the Swarm mission? Mm -hmm. Well, Swarm is our fourth Earth Explorer mission, uh, how we call them. Uh, it will investigate uh, the Earth's magnetic field uh, at the same time at three different points of the magnetosphere um, and by that we hope to gain a lot of additional information about our magnetic field which comes from different sources uh, above all uh, the outer core of Earth uh, but also from the ionosphere and uh, from the crust so all these elements which are geophysically very interesting are in this uh, signal we will measure. And you mentioned that SWARM is the fourth in a series of Earth Explorer missions, the others being GOCHE, SMOS, and CRYOSAT. Can you tell me about those that are currently in orbit? All three are working perfectly. Uh, GOCHE has already produced the best ever gravity model of this planet, and we are improving it constantly uh, with each measurement we do. Uh, CRYOSAT uh, has produced the first map of Arctic sea ice. We have uh, published it. But we will have in, in spring the first full year cycle, which is important, and then we will repeat this year by year to see how the sea ice uh, is changing in thickness. And uh, uh, SMOS, our Soil Moisture and Ocean Salinity mission, has delivered the first worldwide maps of soil moisture and ocean salinity. So all three missions are fully on track and uh, deliver perfect results. Okay, and of course, uh, it, you know, by uh, presenting the, these maps, there will be many scientific conferences, uh, meetings. Can you tell me about what's on the schedule for the coming year? Yes, we have a couple of meetings coming uh, for our um, well, most important mission, Envisat, the biggest uh, environmental satellite ever built, uh, where, who carries 10 different instruments. Uh, we have a couple of smaller events concentrating on different parameters. Uh, we will have a cryosat event, uh, as I said already, to produce, uh, to show the first real measurements over a longer time span. Uh, we will have a huge science uh, conference in Munich, IGAS, uh, which we co-organize, and uh, there is a record uh, number of applications uh, of speakers. Um, besides this, we have two big air shows, uh, one in Farnborough, one in, uh, in Berlin in this year. And last but not least, in autumn, we have an uh, altimeter uh, conference in Venice, a good place to speak about sea level rise and other issues we measure with altimetry. Okay, and then of course there's the Ministerial Council. In November, the Ministerial Council, absolutely. Okay, and uh, what's going to be brought up at that? Well, uh, the Ministerial Council is of course the event uh, for us because it will determine the programs of the next years. Uh, it will take place in a very difficult economic uh, boundary condition, but uh, I'm convinced uh, that uh, member states still see research and technology as the right answer also to an economic crisis. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what sort of programs will be brought up as far in, as Earth observation? In Earth observation, mm -hmm. uh, we have mainly three proposals. 
One is the continuation of our Earth Science program, the what we call Earth Observation Envelope program. Uh, the second is a new generation of polar orbiting meteorological satellites, we call them METOP second generation. And the third is uh, another slice of GMES, Global Monitoring for Environment and Security, with two elements. One is uh, a tide-free altimetry mission, which we need again to have uh, exact or the continuation of the exact measurements of sea level rise. And the other is a sensor which will fly on this uh, METOP second generation, it's called Sentinel-5, and will measure atmospheric chemistry. Mm -hmm. Now, mentioning uh, you mentioned GMES, of course, this year you'll also continue developing the Sentinel uh, satellites, those missions. Can you tell me about those missions? Well, they are full on track. Uh, so we have uh, seven satellites and uh, one instrument in the pipeline. Um, the satellites will be ready uh, will be ready for launch from 2013 onward. So I would expect end 2013 be, uh, to end 2014 we will launch the first uh, three. Then 2015 another one and then maybe 15, 16, 17 the other three. And then uh, we have the f uh, full operational capability of the system. Okay, well Professor Liebe, thank you so much for joining us today. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that to discover more about space and about our planet, you can visit our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.